Number 18. Letter A. How many significant figures are there in the numbers 99 and 100? All right. So to lead off the uh, answer to this question, let's just write down a couple of quick rules about significant figures. So rule number one, all numbers one through nine are always significant. So meaning if you had a, if you had a value of one, two, three, that would mean three significant figures. If you had a value of two, nine point four, six, let's say that's a value of four significant figures, etc. Okay. Rule number two, um, all trapped, all trapped zeros, I'll put a little quote there, all trapped zeros are significant. So trapped between what, right? Because trapped implies it's between something. All trapped zeros between numbers, right? So between numbers. Okay, so let me give you a couple of examples. So let's say we had uh, the value of, I don't know, 2004, okay? The two is a uh, non-zero digit, meaning it's a value of one through nine. Four is also a value of one uh, between one and nine. Therefore, rule number one says that they're always significant. And now these two zeros are considered trapped because they're between two numbers. So the answer would be four. Uh, one other example would be, let's say we had a value of 2.01900. Oh, two decimal points would be weird. Um, two, let's call it. Okay. This number would have a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven significant figures. All the values one through nine are significant and the zeros are all considered trapped. Okay, great. Number three, third rule, um, all preceding, all preceding zeros are never, never significant. Okay, so a value like, if we were to have a value like 0.000196, Blah, the number of significant figures here would only be three because the preceding zeros, meaning zeros that lie to the left of numbers, okay, without any numbers to the left of those zeros, all right, they're never significant. If I had put a one here, now all of a sudden they become significant again. But without a number to the left of those zeros, they're never significant. And then the last rule, uh, rule number four, depends on if a decimal is present or not. Okay, so all trailing, all trailing zeros, all trailing zeros are, uh, are significant only if a decimal is present. Okay, so let me give you an example. So let's say we have a number 1.0120. Okay, so these three numbers, these three values are significant, the one, the one, and the two, because that's rule number one. This zero would be considered a trapped zero, so that's also significant. And now this is the trailing zero. Okay, so this zero is only significant if there is a decimal present in the number, uh, which there is. So this value will have five significant figures. Contrast that with uh, something that has, uh, that I'll give this number to you, 10010. Uh, okay, without a decimal present, this one is significant, that one is significant, and these two zeros are considered to be trapped, so they're also significant. But the last one there on the outside, that's a trailing zero, but there are, or there is no decimal present, therefore it's not significant. So, this number would have four. Okay, now these are the rules of sig figs. So let's go back and let's look at the numbers. So we have 99, this is really simple now, right? That's significant and that's significant. So this number should have two significant figures. Now, the number of 100. Here's where the book, honestly, it gets a little, in my opinion, a little sloppy here. Because they say that this number could have one, it could have two, or it could have three significant figures. Well. 
It depends on something then. If it could be one, two, or three, it must be dependent on something. And it depends on where the uncertainty lies. But for letter A, they didn't tell us anything about the uncertainty. So what that means is that I have to fall back on uh, these one of the using these four rules, right? And specifically, I have to fall back on rule number four. So the way this number is written right now, without a decimal, there is only one significant figure. Okay, that's the answer. So now, um, 99 would have 2. 100, without a decimal, has 1. If there were a decimal here, at the end of it, then it would be 3. Okay? Without any additional information, that's the answer. Now, when we turn our attention to B now, the, uh, the significant figures will now actually change because we have new information. So letter B says now, if the uncertainty um, in each number is 1, okay, what is the percent uncertainty in each? So let's just see what this additional piece of information does in terms of um, the number of significant figures. So let me write both numbers, both 99 and 100, with the associated uncertainty. So if I were to do that, uh, let's put letter B over here. Okay, so if I were to do that, it would look something like this. 99 plus or minus uh, 1. Okay, great. And the other value would be 100 plus or minus 1. Okay, so the value, the uncertainty will help guide us in identifying how many significant figures there are. Uh, what do I mean by that? In terms of the first value, we're uncertain in the, to the ones place, right? So it's 99 plus or minus one, meaning it might be 100 or meaning it might be 98. So we're, we don't know about this value in particular because it could change. So this is where our uncertainty lies. It lies in the ones place, okay? So since it lies in the ones place, I'm uncertain about any value that would come after that, but I am certain about any number that comes before it. So therefore, my significant figures would be 2, just like we discussed before. Now here's where it changes for the value of 100. Again, it's plus or minus 1, so this is the uncertainty, meaning that the number that's measured could really be 101, or what well, could range, right, from 101 to 99. Again, it's this value that I'm not sure of. So again, this goes out to the ones place, right? And therefore, just as I discussed before, if this number were to trail on longer in terms of a decimal, I would be uncertain about any number out there. But I am certain from anything to the left of that ones place, from the, from the ones place and to the left. So that means now there are three significant figures in this value. So all of a sudden now, when we are given the uncertainty, I know uh, where the uncertainty lies, therefore, and that will tell me and give me insight into now the number of significant figures. So I have to now assume that this number has three significant figures. And to be consistent, there should be a decimal placed in there. Okay, it has to all be consistent. Done elsewise, it's sloppy. All right. So now, and I'll also put the decimal here as well. Okay, so now we can answer the question. So it says, if the uncertainty in each number is one, what is the percent uncertainty in each? Okay, so let's uh, write our formula down for percent uncertainty. So percent uncertainty in any particular measurement is equal to the uncertainty of that measurement divided by the measurement itself multiplied by 100. So let's first work with the value of 99. So the percent uncertainty is the value of the uncertainty, which was 1, divided by the measurement itself, which was 99, okay, multiplied by 100. So percent uncertainty, just plug that into your calculator. So 1 divided by, 1 divided by 99 times 100. So that works out to be 1.0101. It looks like it keeps repeating. Now remember, our answer cannot have any more significant figures than the value of than the value we used that had the least. So the value we used in our calculation that had the least was the value of one. That only has one significant figure. And therefore my answer can only have one significant figure. So rounding this off, it would just be simply 1%.
I'll put the percent sign there as well. So this would be the um, answer uh, for the first part. Now for the second one, right, let's find the percent uh, uncertainty. So percent uncertainty associated with the value of 100. So the percent uncertainty is equal to the uncertainty of the measurement itself divided by that particular measurement multiplied by 100. So the percent uncertainty is equal to the uncertainty of the measurement, which was 1, divided by the measurement itself, which was 100, multiplied by 100. So obviously we can see how the math is going to work out here. So the percent uncertainty will be equal to 1.0000%. Now again, since I, the value of 1 in the numerator only had one significant figure, my answer cannot have more than one significant figure. So therefore, the percent uncertainty is also equal to 1%. And that would now be the answer for, um, the, answer for the second part of Part B. Okay, now uh, for Part C. So let's see. So it says, which is a more meaningful way to express the accuracy of these two numbers, uh, significant figures or percent uncertainties? Um, so the more accurate way would be actually uh, basically with percent uncertainties, right? Because actually, if, if you go back to what we just discussed, right, if I just write down um, the number 100 and the uh, writer of that value does not include the decimal. There's only one sig fig, and if he does or she does, then there's three. But what happens if they forget? Well, then there's an ambiguity, right? And that's what's going on in the textbook. It says it could be one, two, or three. But if we're talking about this in terms of percent uncertainties, um, we then will know what the uncertainty is. So now we would re be uh, writing the numbers like this. And this will now tell us where the uncertainty lies and what position we are uncertain about, meaning we're uncertain about the ones position. So that gives us an extra piece of information, just like I was discussing before. Generally speaking, the more information you have, the better uh, decision you can make. And therefore, um, it would be more meaningful to express this in terms of percent uncertainties. That would be uh, a more accurate way to do so. All right, that concludes this question. Thank you guys for tuning in. Please do subscribe. There's a little button there. It's in red. Thank you very much.